So last week I did something pretty cool. I shot a music video on a $180 camera. Does that mean me crazy? And no, I'm not crazy. There's a couple reasons why I did that. Now, usually I shoot on my Panasonic GH5, which I love. Um, but I wanted to try to shoot on the Canon EOS M camera, which I heard really good things about, and which costs about 90% less than my GH5. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to, well, to play with the camera, but also to show you guys that you don't need a great camera to make really good video. There are things that are way more important than the camera, things like good production design, interesting content, great lighting, good audio. The camera doesn't really come first when it comes to video. So I'll walk you through my process and you can check out how I made it. I knew I would need some kind of interesting content for the video. Luckily Sam was in the area because we're planning a music video for a different day. And he was up for shooting a cover video. So we went into my studio where I recorded the audio for the song in a controlled environment. Once we had the audio done, we went to the location. It was kind of an old industrial looking warehouse with really neat textured walls and a ton of awesome light. The lighting is so good that I didn't actually set up any additional lights, which is almost unheard of for me. <laughs> it is unheard of for me, who am I kidding? Once I had Sam all set up, I took a Bluetooth speaker, hid it in his hood, <laughs> and had him play along with himself for about six takes. I would have done more, honestly, except that it was so cold up there that we just had to call it a day afterwards. Which is why there's honestly a bit too much motion in the video. I did all of the first takes on a gimbal and before we got to the tripod takes we just ran out of heat, I guess. When you look at the video you can see that there's a huge window which is basically like a huge softbox right next to Sam and then he's got some pretty nice backlight coming in. Almost as important is there's a corridor to Sam's right where I can get a lot of negative fill and that gave his face a lot more contrast and a lot more character. So again, I chose the location because it's pretty much ideal for the Canon EOS M camera. I mean, honestly, it's ideal for basically any camera. It's, it would be hard to make it look bad. Even then, my wide angle shots are a little underexposed. I forgot that with Canon, it's a 40 megabit per second bit rate, which gives you not a lot of information to play with afterwards. My GH5 has the lowest bit rate of 100 megabits per second, which is pretty forgiving. I don't want to get too far into the technical specs of the camera and what settings I used because most of you would probably hate that. But I will say that I loaded a different software, Magic Lantern, onto the camera and I shot in log. So you're not going to get quite the same look if you just pick up the camera and start shooting. So just to wrap it all up, if you want to make good looking video, make sure that it's about something interesting, that it sounds good, that it's lit well, and that it's filmed in an interesting location. Once all of that is in place, then you can worry about the camera. Thanks for watching. If you want me to make more videos like this, let me know or force all of your friends to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want me to go more in depth on subjects like lighting or audio, again, just let me know.